the bald god himself, Dana White, has announced massive fights, three massive fights at the post-fight press conference for UFC 300. We are officially in the 300 era, guys. I'm curious, guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys think that UFC 300 era is going to be better than the 200 era? Or do you think even the 100 era, what is the best era so far of the UFC? Let me know in the comment section below. But we have officially come here. And yeah, guys, the sport is bigger than it's ever been. And I can only anticipate that this next 100 pay-per-views are going to be some of the best. We kicked it off really good with UFC 300. And now we have announced that at UFC 302 in New Jersey, right next to me, the main event is going to be Dustin Poirier versus Islam Makhachev for the 155-pound title. Islam Makhachev is the current champion, of course. Dustin Poirier coming off of a good win against Ben Washington. Well, good-ish, and we're going to get into that later. Also announced Sean Strickland, Paulo Costa. That fight is going to be a five-round co-main event. And lastly, the big news, the news that I have been craving for, the news we were all expecting, the news that I made countless videos talking about, Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler. We have the details. International Fight Week, 170 pounds. We're going to get into all that and more, guys. But first, I want to you guys the subscribe button, like, comment, and share, guys. We are almost at 12K. You guys have been killing it with the support, guys. And please, just make sure to hit the notification bell. That part is really important, guys. You guys need to click the notification bell. That is what helps the algorithm know that you guys enjoy the video and suggest it to other people that also like MMA, which makes my channel bigger. I'm just a little fish in a big pond here, so I just need the help. And I'm going to talk about all these fights. You guys could follow right now in the chapter section. If you guys care about a particular fight, you guys go check it out right there. Now, let's talk about the main fight that was announced. One of the bigger fights that we did not expect, or we did kind of expect, but weren't sure was going to be official. Islam Makhachev, Dustin Poirier. Now, Islam Makhachev is coming off of that win against Alexander Volkanovsky. Obviously, a super dominant win, and we were expecting hopefully to return earlier in the year. And yeah, UFC 302 is the return of Islam. He's going to be fighting in New Jersey. I believe the last time he fought in the U.S. was that fight with Bobby Green, fun fact. So he's back on U.S. soil fighting once again, and he's going to be fighting Dustin Poirier, who I assume will be a massive fan favorite there. Dustin Poirier is coming off of that win against Benoit Saint Denis that I got a lot of shit for saying this, but I didn't think it was an impressive win impressive-ish by the knockout, by the performance, by the way that he was able to come back. But there was a lot of problems with it. Number one, the fact that obviously Ben Watson and he had a staff infection, right? He was not 100% in that fight, guys, and I know a lot of you guys hate hearing it. I hate hearing it too. In an ideal world, we would love all these fighters to be 100%, but sadly, there's only one night. You need to show up 100% for that night, and that is so rare to do. Imagine if I was like, fuck everything you did in the past. Fuck any good qualities you might have. I'm judging who you are as a person based on what you did today. Some of you guys might be proud of that and be like, yeah, I had a good day today. I did some good thing some of you guys maybe have some issues maybe flipped off that one driver on the road and if i were to judge you on that one day of course i would think you're a bad person but of course it's so hard to be 100 percent on one particular day and especially one particular fight where countless things can go wrong injuries maybe you just wake up a little tired maybe you have a stomach ache the day of the fight there's so many different variables and i'm not trying to take anything away from dustin he did what he had to do the knockout was sick and credit to him for even taking that fight dustin poirier was losing 99 percent of that fight kept jumping guillotines and i know it's a joke and i'm gonna get into this one against the islam section guys the guillotine stuff I just am not amused by it, guys. Call me a hater, whatever. I know you guys think I hate Dustin Poirier. I definitely don't hate the guy. I'm just giving my unbiased take here. I think the guillotine stuff is just stupid. Like, first of all, he drops Benoit Saint and then goes for a guillotine right after. Islam Akhachev is obviously a great grappler. We know he's gonna probably try to shoot for a takedown. And to be fair to Dustin, he almost got Khabib with a guillotine in their fight. The cat's out of the bag, dude. Islam Akhachev is going to be defending guillotines time and time again in these next two months. He is going to be well equipped to defend against those guillotines. I don't care how good your guillotine is, especially since that's a low percentage submission anyway like when is the last time we really saw a guillotine get in honestly guys my prediction for this fight is that dustin poirier will lose however i think the mma community will definitely turn on dustin poirier a little bit i think if dustin poirier actually goes out there and tries 15 different guillotines i think maybe at first the crowd is gonna go a little bit crazy like oh haha you did the thing but i think in terms of after that i think people are going to get sick of him basically pulling guard the whole fight however i want to give dustin poirier a little more credit than that this is a big opportunity for him he's basically gifted a title shot the guy doesn't really deserve it he just lost to justin gaethje less than a year ago and has that one win over ben saint denis which forget about the whole fight regardless he was ranked number 12 so regardless of anything like that the whole staff infection thing he was still ranked number 12 and now he's getting a title shot overall though i am okay with dustin poirier getting a title shot he's a legend in the sport he definitely deserves it he's put in his work so don't get me wrong i'm not livid about this title shot by any means but the question for me is how much does islam really grapple because we've seen him get that now highlight real knockout over alexander volkanovsky i could see a scenario where islam Akhachev is a little bit over ambitious now and is like hey i'm here to make a statement i want to knock out dustin poirier maybe his ego gets ahead of him and he gets caught with something that is a thousand percent possible and i could see that being a scenario but if islam makhachev sticks to the game plan i think he will be dustin poirier i think dustin poirier's best hope maybe throughout fight week say hey i know he's gonna shoot you know kind of criticize him play on his ego a little bit because i think islam makhachev is going to look to stand with him a little bit more to try to make a statement and if he underestimates dustin poirier i mean dustin poirier is one of the greatest boxers in the ufc i think i think the greatest boxer in my opinion and he's an absolute dog and i will be rooting for him in this fight because i think this is his last 
opportunity to really get a title and this could very well be his retirement fight but that's my thoughts on that fight let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the fight the call main event i want to talk about a little bit paulo costa sean strickland we heard that this fight was in the work sean strickland originally declined it they brought back some more money for my man sean and now he's back and saying hey yeah a five round co-main event in new jersey guys this is an insane fight did sean strickland get done dirty a little bit absolutely he did get kind of done dirty what probably should have happened is strickland versus whitaker and paulo costa versus hamza chamayev and they should have just flipped those fights but i'm not too angry about it i'm still excited i think for paulo costa to win this he has to be very unorthodox right we've seen sean strickland he spars all the time you got to give him a new look which is extremely hard to do but paulo costa looked very good in his last fight he has finishing ability he has power and we've seen sean strickland knocked out before and i think this is a good matchup for strickland honestly early prediction i will be going with sean strickland yes paulo costa has the ability to catch him but i think outside the first round i think we're going to see sean strickland really nullify paulo costa's attacks and do very well i think it will be close especially early on but i think as we get to the later rounds we're gonna see sean strickland really with that jab and potentially i think paulo costa could probably steal some rounds with the power right i think he'll probably be landing the harder shots especially early on while sean strickland's probably gonna land more in volume it's a good matchup it's going to be a good fight 100 percent as long as someone doesn't get knocked out right away it'll probably be a very entertaining fight and even if someone gets knocked out that's still entertaining for us but i think that's a fun fight to add to the pay-per-view i can't wait for that press conference by the way islam akashev next to sean strickland but guys i want to touch on the last fight just for a little bit guys because i've done tons and tons of videos on it guys i'm gonna leave some in the corner of the screen if you guys missed but michael chandler connor mcgregor guys we've been excited for this fight we've been talking about this fight for it feels like now over a year it has been over a year what the fuck am i talking about it'll be over a year since tough aired once they finally fight june 29th the same date that conor mcgregor had announced back in january 170 pounds which i'm a bit disappointed in guys i think it's just dumb to have a 170 yes maybe conor can't make 155 again i don't know that but if that's true then fine but if he can make 155 but i know everyone's gonna write off mcgregor but let's say this fight's at 170 pounds and he sparks chandler knocks chandler out cold where does conor go from there i mean does he fight a 170 pounder i mean at that point you're really gonna give connor dumb matchups like maybe a nate diaz trilogy which i wouldn't mind seeing don't get me wrong but i'm just saying you're gonna get those kind of matchups but if connor mcgregor does spark out chandler i mean here's the facts chandler gave poirier problems chandler gave gaethje problems if he sparks chandler easily which is a big if of course but if he does then where does it go from here i don't want to see a nate diaz fight if i'm gonna be honest i'd rather see maybe a dustin poirier fourth fight or maybe even a justin gaethje fight depending on where gaethje is but i think it's a big mistake not having it at 155 pounds and i also think that chandler's a big guy i think it honestly favors Chandler. McGregor, yes, did look big, but we don't know how he's going to carry that much weight. We don't know how he's going to carry all this new muscle. I think, if anything, it favors Chandler this weight. But I'm excited, guys. You guys have heard my prediction before. I think McGregor is going to win. I made a video breaking down why. I don't want to really get into it here. I just think this is a good stylistic matchup for McGregor. If the McGregor that fought Portier in their last fight returns, yeah, I think he's going to win, and I think he could probably win in the first round. But if this is a new style McGregor where he's mixing in that old boxing stance where his leg is definitely slowing him down, where the weight is making him tired, there's a lot of question marks, and that's what makes this match matchup super interesting we don't know and we won't know until fight night honor has been looking good in sparring recently but we'll see guys let me know what you guys think about these fights in the comment section below i just want to make a video talking about these and as always we're going to wrap this video up by talking about the top comments in the last video if you guys missed it it talks about max holloway and what he should do next with his fighting career here are the top comments from that video i don't know why i thought max was in his 40s when he said he was 32 i was like damn he's in his prime it probably has to do with the fact that he's been in the ufc for many years and i've seen him fight so many times yeah that's what i said in my video guys i mean look literally max holloway is still a young guy he could probably fight for like another three or four years and especially if he's sticking to this weight class and builds up his frame even more yeah he could be a serious problem for islam makachev for all of these guys do i think he beats islam i'm not so sure we'll have to find out there's definitely a lot of question marks still with this move up to 155 but so far he's looking pretty good i believe max can beat islam if he trained a little bit with alex in the prep i see max catching islam with hands just because of his volume of striking max holloway also has a good takedown defense right we've seen that in his featherweight career now that i'm thinking about it though i don't think we've ever really seen max holloway fight a wrestler of the caliber of islam especially seeing that islam's a big guy himself he's talked about going to 170 and max is coming from 145 it's not impossible but i think it's unlikely max holloway doesn't really have that knockout power like even with the dustin poirier matchup i said before dustin poirier i could see maybe islam gets a little cocky on the feet and gets caught with something knocked out i don't really see that happening with max holloway right i find when max holloway does plant his feet he does have power but he rarely does that really just has volume it's interesting i don't know guys it is actually a little bit interesting because if islam can't finish him on the ground maybe this could be a similar situation to the volkanovsky stuff but guys that video was on the screen right now make sure to click and guys seriously i need the support please run up the comment section run up the like button subscribe hit the notification bell and share this video to everybody guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one